I hope he didn't come in as a, there he is. Oh, there he is. Good. Did you get him? Yes. Hello. I see him there. Is Emery? Hey, Emery. Hi, are you Holly? Yes, I'm Holly. Nice to meet How are you. you. Very nice Good. meeting you. Whoa, you're sideways. Okay. <laughs> Fix that. All right. Oops. All right, we got participants coming in. Yay, we can't wait. I'm going to mute myself, okay? All right, sure, no problem. We're just going to give them a few minutes because we're still a few minutes ahead of four o'clock. So um, I'm just going to give them a couple minutes to come in and uh, then we will get started. Um, I see Debbie. Hey, Debbie, nice to see you. Um, this is a webinar format, so it's not a meeting like we usually do. So the only people that you're going to be able to see is me, Shauna, and Emery. That's it. But if you have questions, you can definitely use the question box as well as Vivian. That's my mom. My mom's here. Um, mom, you can just use the question uh, box uh, down at the bot there down at the bottom for anybody who doesn't know how to use it yet. If you mouse over the screen, there's a chat and there's also Q&A. And we have enough people that we don't have to worry about whether it's Q&A or chat. Hey, Debbie, nice to see you. Um, and you can use that as well. So as soon as uh, four o'clock hits, I'm gonna hit the record button and then I'm gonna stream live to our Facebook and our YouTube channel. And, um, and then we'll get started. Sound good? Great. All righty. Look at the beautiful things he's got behind him. Shauna, were you able to um, get, uh, no, we're, no, no, Debbie, we're not behind. It starts at four o'clock, so we're ahead. We have two minutes. So as soon as uh, uh, we have a few people uh, more join the call, then, um, then we will get started. I had about 13 registries. Oh, <laughs> yes, the, um, yes, behind him. The, uh, the, I see some shawls there behind him that I know he's gonna talk about a little bit later the the uh, papillon and the divanyolu yeah yeah right absolutely right here yeah that's divanyolu and the other one's papillon right that's this is papillon here yes oh that is my favorite <laughs> mine too i love the all different color combinations people come up with yeah. I always try to use a different one when I have a show. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, so we'll just wait uh, about... Okay, I'm going to get some more stuff. Yep. Holly, did you have a question for me you were starting to say? Oh, um, you were going to... Uh, doesn't need to record right now. Um, you were going to see if you could uh, get me the Bobor from New York. Yes, and I'm working on it. <laughs> 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 right, Emery? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I Here's will know more tomorrow. tomorrow. Awesome, 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 awesome. I see uh, Mary Thomas. Hey, Mary, welcome. And I see Chaman. Hey, Chaman, nice to see you. There's Mamie. Hey, Mamie. All right. It's four o'clock, and I am a person who likes to get started when I said I was going to get started. So I'm going to hit um, live to Facebook here, and then I am going to go ahead and get us kicked off.
me. Oh, it's hurting. And yes, go live. All right, do we have any other folks joining us? Let me see if the thing is live in Facebook. Yeah, it says live on Facebook right now. It did. There it is. It popped yeah. in. All right. All right. Fantastic. We are cooking with fire now. So I just wanted to um, say thank you, Emery, and thank you to Shauna from Earth Yons for joining us. Um, Emery, I want to tell you a little bit about Emery. Emery is the president and the co-founder of Earth Yarns. He was born and raised in Istanbul, Turkey. And um, before I read the rest, I just want to say um, prayers to any friends and family that you have there in Turkey. I heard about the, uh, the earthquake. So we hope everybody you. you know is fine. Everyone is well. Thank you. Thanks for good. asking. Good. Um, so Emery left his home country to attend the University of Virginia at the age of 18. Emery is the third generation yarn wholesaler. His grandfather started the company back in the 1950s, which became one of the most well-known yarn brands in Turkey. Emery was introduced to yarn when he returned to Turkey. His mother had opened a yarn shop and Emery assisted his mother for a few months in the shop and on his return to the USA, started selling garments knit in Turkey to the boutiques in the US. Emery founded Feza, which we do carry at Yarn, Boot, in Yarn Geek Boutique in 2004. This is a fantastic yarn line and attended the TNNA trade show for the first time. He quickly built a team and turned Fezzi Yarns into the well-known well novelty brand in the USA. And then Earth Yarns was founded in 2017. So um, I just, again, want to say thank you and welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Yarn Geek Boutique. Thank you for the introduction. That was very nice You're of welcome. you. Welcome. So Emery, um, yes. you want to tell us a little bit uh, more about um, your company? What do you guys specialize in um, at, at, at uh, Earth Yarn? Yeah, uh, with Earth Yarns, we, uh, we specialize in very soft yarn. Obviously, uh, anything that we carry in our collection is going to be like top notch. Uh, we use the softest merino uh, in our collection. Uh, we do. Uh, we obviously only dye by hand, so everything that is in our collection is hand dyed. And uh, I would say we're really well known for self striping uh, yeah. products. So we have our unique, uh, which is uh, U N E E K. We did a play on the word, and um, that's the South Striping line. Um, it has uh, 12 colors interchanging throughout the, uh, the skein, and um, it comes in three different weights. Uh, we started with fingering, and then we uh, added worsted. Then uh, we just added DK weight. Yeah. And uh, I can show you what they look like. Yeah, so, let's see. Yeah, so like... This will be fingering weight, all different colors. This is a worsted weight. That Again, so uh, different, different colors. And um, this is a DK weight. One of our, this is our, uh, probably our best selling color, 4003. It's all purples. Um, so the beauty, the beauty of our uh, line is uh, not just like, you know, it's very soft. It, uh, the hand dyeing is excellent. Mm -hmm. um, but we also have, you know, really uh, affordable prices. So when I was starting the Earth Line, I wanted to, um, I wanted to um, remove all the obstacles from a store mm -hmm. or a knitter to try our yarn. So I didn't want them to say, oh, you know, your colors are beautiful, your yarn is very soft, but you're too pricey. I just right. like, I don't think it's worth it. Or, you know, oh, yeah, your price is good, but, um, you know, it's 
it's itchy. I don't like the yarn. So we don't want to have that. We, we said, okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to fulfill all the uh, boxes mm -hmm. and I'll say, all right, soft yarn, check. Good price, check. Amazing colors, check. So Absolutely. I wanted to remove all the reasons why you would say no to earth line. And uh, so that's how we have the earth line. And uh, it's been doing, I think it's been doing very well with our customers because um, we continue to uh, get reorders. Mm -hmm. um, but before I jump into those, I wanted to, you know, talk about some of the line, obviously. Yeah. Um, so just like the unique, the unique is, you know, cell striping and dyeing. And um, it's made of 12 different colors throughout the line. Mm -hmm. Um, we wanted to add something more conservative for, you know, conservative knitters. So we brought in monochrome. Yeah. Monochrome is the same dyeing technique as unique. But the difference in monochrome is uh, throughout the skein, you'll see 12 different shades of the same color. So this is, let's say this is a blue and you'll have, you know, light blue, dark blue, and then navy, all different shades of the same color interchanging within one skein, which makes yeah. it, you know, um, instead of knitting with a yarn, that's just like a solid blue, which, you know, could be boring. I'm not, right. you know, no judgments here, but <laughs> it could be boring. But, you know, with this one, it's, you know, it's not too out there, but at the same time, it looks different. It's just like, you know, it's more catchy. So, um, so that, I just want to ask you really quickly. So that blue or the monochrome, just mm -hmm. to recap what you just said, the monochrome is actually still 12 shades of blue. Yeah, all different wow. shades of blue. Yeah, so uh, this is gonna, um, this is also available in the fingering weight, worsted mm -hmm. weight and DK weight. So yeah. uh, anything that's available in unique, all different weights, you can also get them in the monochrome uh, product. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're really perfect with uh, inter, like, a lot of our designs, they uh, they use both unique and monochrome together. Yeah. So, um, and uh, you know, it's it's like unique does most of the work, and the monochrome does the you know. It's like I call them uh, I call unique the um, the lead actress, mm -hmm. and then uh, monochrome, and we have harvest, which is solid. I call them the supporting actress, and they make you know amazing products like you know like yeah. this. That we'll is talk about that. ridiculously gorgeous. We'll talk about that. That's uh, that's that is uh, <laughs> that was amazing just design teaser. that I love that uh, helped <laughs> us uh, like kind of put us on the map actually. Mm -hmm. um, so another amazing design uh, yarn we have is called Harvest, and what's so cool about Harvest is we do um, it's plant based dyeing, mm -hmm. so all our colors. Uh, you'll see the names are, you know, uh, uh, cranberry, blueberry, hazelnuts, um, cosmic purple carrot, like this one. Um, it's because the names are such because uh, we use the names of the plants or vegetables that we dye them with. Mm -hmm. So if this color name is cosmic purple carrot, it's because we dyed it with cosmic purple, purple carrot. carrot. And uh, let's say this is citrus because we dyed it with lemon. Wow. And we have blueberries, all different kinds. This is actually really cool because um, this is how they used to dye uh, oriental rugs oh. like centuries ago. Yeah. So this is the same technique. They will just, you know, use the plants and vegetables to extract the dye and they will use that to, you know, dye the oriental rugs. So, uh, you know, my... Uh, this earth line, one of, the, one of the cool things about it is um, our entire production or like marketing, photography, everything, a uh, member of my family is involved. So mm -hmm. the dyers are my cousins, you know, photographers, uh, mm -hmm. my brother. Um, so everyone, everyone is involved. And one of my cousins, he just came to me like, uh, you know, this is years ago, obviously, 2017. And it's like, you know, this is like, this could be really cool. Let's try you know, dying with the plants and stuff. And we gave it a try and, uh, you know, it just came up beautifully. And uh, of course the colors, they're more muted. 
compared to you know synthetic dyes obviously yeah. Yeah. but uh it's still you know we, uh, we have a great palette of like i believe 23 colors and you know the the colors they uh they make you hungry when you know you read them like hazelnut walnut and blueberries and all that stuff that's so, my favorite yeah. color combination you have in your hand right there the blueberry this? and the yellow yeah 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 mm -hmm. i love these <laughs> um yeah so uh we started with unique uh monochrome harvest um then Another amazing this yarn uh, we have is um, if you have any sock knitters there, mm -hmm. uh, we are really well known for our sockets, cell striping sockets. And these are, they come in a cute box like this. Yeah. So the box has two pre-wound cakes and each cake knits exactly the same yarn. I mean, the same uh, sock. It's not going to be different. It's going to be 100% the same. It's pre-wound. So, you know, you don't have to do anything. You just take it out and start knitting. Yeah. As long as you start from the same end, it's going to look the same. And, you know, if you are not a sock knitter, which you should be because like this sock, uh, once you try this sock, I, I you don't want to take it off. You don't it's, want to change. It's, That's right. It's so soft. It's amazing. Um, you can gift this. It's a perfect gift. You know, it shows what the end product will look like here. It really and is. Um, we have, uh, you know, this this product has done so well. Um, right when the uh, the uh, you know the lockdown started, we all started watching the Tiger King and that uh, craziness. Yeah. My brother uh, said, you know what, why don't we do like something for, you know, uh, a sock for tigers, for the Tiger King. We said, all right, let's give it a shot. And out came this uh, tigress sock. <laughs> and uh, this has, this was originally, we wanted to make this limited edition. Uh -huh. And uh, it comes in a box like this. So do you still have these or... Yeah, we have these. We have these. Yeah, uh -huh. we we uh, what happened was uh, we said we're just gonna do like you know five hundred of them limited, so it will be special. Mm -hmm. So you know we sent an email to our customers' stores and we said you know just like first five hundred. The demand was so overwhelming, like the the day that we sent the email, right. we were just like you know calls were coming in, emails coming in. I mean, it didn't feel right to say, oh, I'm sorry, it's just like you're the. Uh, you know, your order is 501 and we can't right. deliver you. So we said, you know, we were just going to deliver everyone's orders and, uh, you know, people are still ordering. So we, mm -hmm. we kept it as uh, you know, something that we bring in whenever there is a demand. So right. um, your customers can get the sock Tigris. It's very That's cool. Right. That is um, very cool. And those then, are, those are um, for everybody on the call. If you just go to the, um, the link that I posted for the Yarn Geek Boutique Collections, Earth, Co. Yarn, Earth Yarn Co., everything that we carry for Earth is there, including those cool Tigris sock kits and the zebra. Yeah, we have the Wait, zebra. You could wear one, so one zebra and one tiger, right? Yeah. And then your legs could like stalk each other. <laughs> So yeah, um, Zebra was the second uh, limited edition we uh, we introduced. Again, this has done uh, really well for us. And we just uh, have include, uh, introduced the Christmas one. Oh, I need the so Christmas one. This uh, Christmas one, we just uh, received the fresh shipment. It's going to go out very soon, but uh, we can die more if your customers want to get any. Oh, uh, and... These are, you know, this, the sock kits, uh, we have, I believe, 19 different colors. So if you're not interested in any of the uh, special limited edition ones, uh, I'm sure you'll find one that, uh, you know, fits your taste in the 19 colors that we offer. Um, so, like I said, we mostly have merinos, uh, but we also introduced last year 100% uh, cotton. Mm -hmm. So what we do is, uh, you know, it's the same as the unique and monochrome. It's self-striping, but it's 100% uh, mercerized cotton. 
And the colors actually like the cut, uh, cotton colors came out very beautiful and uh, mercerized cotton takes the dye extremely well. So you can see this is the unique version Again, self-striping mm -hmm. and the colors are really delicious. We have uh, 25, I believe, yeah, 25 colors we offer this in. And, and that's um, the Galetta, right? No, that's, I'm going to come to that. Uh, this oh, is okay. unique cotton. Unique this has cotton. a decay okay. weight. Okay. And then this is the monochrome cotton. Again, decay weight. And uh, the one you say is the Galazzi is the bulky version mm -hmm. of it. And you'll see that it's, uh, it's three ply. So when, uh, when the yarn is uh, bulky and if, uh, if it's single ply, mm -hmm. it doesn't really uh, age well. It just like starts, uh, you know, it, it starts looking really old. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to do three ply and uh, it's bulky weight. This has uh, 95 yards in it. Wow, that and, is so uh, pretty. It's, it's again, the you know, cell striping. We have, uh, you know, very colorful ones. And then we mm -hmm. have the ones that look like monochrome. Okay. And uh, so that's our collection right now. And uh, I would love to show some of the garments we have. Yes, let's see. So, uh, you know, we can talk about them. And uh, let's see. So let's start. Let's start with, yeah, we started talking about Papillon. So why not, why not start yeah. with Papillon? So Papillon uses two skeins of unique fingering, our cell striping, the, uh, the leading actress. Wow. And you can see this is like all short rows. And yeah. when you see the orange here, this will be either harvest our harvest line mm -hmm. or monochrome line does all that magic. So it's the contrasting color that does all the magic there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we recommend that like uh, we, re we recommend that uh, the contrast color that use our monochrome or harvest because um, the base yarn is the same. Mm -hmm. We use the same base yarn for all of our yarns. So fingering weights, Harvest, Unique, Monochrome, they will all be the same base yarn. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's the same yarn you're using. It's just like, you know, different type of uh, dyeing. Mm -hmm. So we recommend that you use our Unique Fingering, two skeins, and then one skein of Harvest or Monochrome. And uh, we have, you know, we have a lot of uh, color combination recommendations. Uh, some of them, you know, just uh, are more popular than others. But, you know, everyone has a different taste. And I'm, to be honest, Sally, I'm yet to see a bad combination. You know, it's just yeah. like, it works out. Like this is something that I wouldn't put up, put together with, but I think it looks amazing. I think and it then, looks amazing. And I, you know, when I thought about the, the orange, you mm -hmm. know, when I saw the, when I saw the color combination together, you know, just the, just the yarn, not the, yeah. the I was like, oh, I don't know if it's me. But then when I saw it behind you, I was like, yeah. oh my goodness. Yeah, it's, it's just, you know, this is another combo. This is more, uh, it's more muted. This is mm -hmm. uh, 3001 and our uh, pomegranate. The first one I showed was 3017 and uh, in unique fingering and 3052 in monochrome fingering. Mm -hmm. And so here's the, here's the interesting thing about uh, Papillon. As you know, nice as it is, some knitters, they, uh, they feel intimidated. They're like, oh, you know, that just looks too hard. I can't do it. Yeah. So um, it's not, you know, it's just like, let me put it out there. It's not difficult. It's uh, it just like the, uh, the designer, Maren, uh, she just like, she wrote a very detailed pattern. That's just like an amazing pattern. Mm -hmm. And uh, as long as she says, as long as you can count, you can knit this pattern. Yeah. And another thing that we recommend is, um, so if, you know, the shawl looks too big and you're like, it looks too difficult to make, then you can have the, the uh, puppy on <laughs> cow. And now you can use this as a, you know, a 
face mask as well. Not as effective as the N95s, but right. <laughs> um, this is perfect to, you know, get used to the technique. Mm -hmm. This is Papillon Cal. It uses one skein of unique fingering, one skein of harvest or monochrome fingering. Mm -hmm. And from one skein each, you actually, you can knit uh, two of them. Mm -hmm. So you can make one for yourself, one for loved one and uh, sister, <laughs> whatever, yeah. like mother. And uh, you can, you know, you can go around matching. And um, so, so, yeah. So this question about this one. And, yeah. and I'm not sure if this is, if this is something that you can answer because it's going to be a pattern question. But um, I know in this pattern mm -hmm. that she uses a wrap and turn for her short row. Do I, you? I, okay. I, I have no, no, no. I, I couldn't no answer. Pattern, no yeah. pattern oh. questions. Okay, no, no problem. So <laughs> I'm going to tell, I'm going to let folks know here, okay, that this is, this is a short row um, pattern. And um, short rows, uh, as he was mentioning, are really, really um, easy to do once you get the hang of them. They're just a bunch of counting. So if um, folks here are interested, we can do some practice of uh, the wrap and turn. And we can also do some practice of the uh, German short rows if you would like to do something like this Papillon, because it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful to work. Yeah, I mean, like I said, this is just like perfect. It's like, uh, you know, um, you get acclimated with this one, you, you you get used to it, and then, you know, you transfer to the next one, yeah. Papillon Shawl, and then there is another one, which is the Poncho, you know, that, that down the road, we'll, uh, we'll uh, talk about that too. Yeah. Um, so that's our first two, and, oh, okay, while we're doing fingering, I want to show another one. This is called Petals. <laughs> and um, I don't know if you can see well. Look at that. So oh. this is from our monochrome fingering. You see all the, uh, the color change within the same yeah. color? That's the monochrome in uh, 3055. We use four different skeins in this design. Um, majority is the uh, monochrome colors. Mm -hmm. So it's like 3,055. Then we have um, 65. And why don't I look at the label? And uh, <laughs> 62. So those uh, three colors of the uh, monochrome are 3,062, 55, and 65. And then one skein of unique fingering. And guess which one is unique fingering? It's this this one. The one that changes into different colors. Wait, okay, so it's the one that's doing the, it's kind of outlining the petals and look at how those co colors change. Yeah, that's so that's, that's all from uh, Unique. Wow, really beautiful. So this is called Petals and, uh, you know, just like as kits, it's, uh, we, we, uh, we have um, different color combinations um this was i think uh the first design from uh, this designer we found her in uh i think she she resides in greece i believe mm -hmm. uh we found her you know right before the pandemic started and you know we we have some designs uh from her that we're using in kits it just works really well with our yarns um so this is called petals and i highly recommend it, it just looks really really cool uh, from our monochrome fingering and unique fingering. Three skeins of monochrome, one skein of uh, unique fingering. Mm -hmm. Then we have... Uh... Oh, we have a very cool shawl. This is actually, this shawl is really uh, effective for us because it uses, like it shows a color change of one skein in the unique. Oh, I love that. So this is, uh, you know, this is what makes our yarn very cool. This is the whole color change you will see in one skein. And that's the, again, which Annika. yarn? The, this that's is, the Annika This is shawl. Unique Fingering and Annika Shawl. Wow. And that's just one skein. This is one skein. Does all this 
work. And this color is one of my favorites. It's 3007. Oh, wow. I don't know if this shows well, mm -hmm. but. And uh, so with our yarns, it's, it's, you know, the color combinations, they will like the, uh, the, the color change will always be the same. Like mm -hmm. we have the formula, obviously. It will always start from A to B, C, D, E, F, G. Like it will, like it will never, it would, it's not going to change when you buy a second one. And um, another praise that we get from our customers is uh, our dyeing is very, uh, you know, consistent. So some, even like one of my customers said, you know, you guys are not hand dyeing. It's just like you can't get this consistency with hand dyeing. Right. I'm like, yeah, I assure you, we are hand dyeing. We just, you know, they, they do a really, really good job. Um, and even when you don't have like the same dye lots mm -hmm. with our yarns, you can just, you know, except for harvest because harvest is, you know, uh, it's completely different dyeing technique. And mm -hmm. one of the cool things about harvest uh, is like we get a different shade every season, depending mm -hmm. on the, the, the rain they got that season or the sun like if it was like a very hot summer mm -hmm. it's like it's a different shade from you know if it was like you know a little cooler summer you know it's just like that's really cool that uh you know interests me very well um so it's kind of like wine the yeah the yeah the wine absolutely 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 um let's see oh this is speaking of harvest this is our mukum cowl. This uses two skeins of harvest worsted. That is so pretty. I want it, yes. <laughs> so, okay, and you can also use it as another mask. You can, yeah, you can use it as another mask and uh, you'll look so much cooler than others. And um, yeah, so this is from a designer from, uh, she's actually, she's an American designer uh, living in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. And what we did was uh, last two years ago, we reached out to designers and we said, yeah, oh, you know, like we want you to design something that uh, represents where you're living in. So right. she's in Amsterdam and, uh, you know, I don't completely remember the exact uh, story, but this is something that, you know, uh, represented or what reminded of her of uh, Amsterdam and this is what she designed One skin of, this mokum specific color is indigo the word mokum means a place mm -hmm. um it's it, she said uh the word mocha mokum or place is Amsterdam a version of New York's big apple and she, na um, she named mokum, which is a Yiddish word that means place or safe haven. Oh, and the nice. cowl is inspired by everyday life in Amsterdam. The rhythmic geometric motifs are pulled from patterns found around the city, from the canals to the lively walls of Am Amsterdam Central. So that's what nice. mokum means. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you, Holly. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this uses um, our indigo, which is, uh, you know, it's, it looks beautiful in harvest. Beautiful. And our ecru, this is uh, the white one is the undyed uh, ecru. Um, then we're still doing the worsted. So I'm going to show something that uses unique worsted and uh, harvest worsted. This is synchronicity. I this design... I came across uh, just, I was on Instagram and someone used our yarn to uh, test knit mm -hmm. for the designer. And it's just like, uh, I, I saw it. I'm like, wow, like this is, this is great. This is yeah. wonderful. Let's reach out and, uh, you know, just uh, start using this design. And uh, it works out perfect with our yarns. Uh, like I said, this is our unique worsted and harvest worsted. You can see the details here. The color combination I'm showing is 4017 mm -hmm. in the Harvest Worsted. And Oleester, yes, Oleester in Harvest Worsted. 
Yes. And this is designed by Cheryl Faust. Yes. And I've done two of these. I absolutely love, love, love this pattern. This is, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, it's not stranded knitting. Um, and I can't, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank, but this type of knitting, it's really, it was actually really e easy to be able to get that, that pattern and that look of it. If you've never done color work before, this is a really great project to start color work on um, because you're getting something that looks really, really hard and mm -hmm. it's not. Um, yeah. and, and the yarn really, really does do the work for you to get that beautiful, beautiful shop. Yeah, so, uh, so we're gonna stick with the same designer. Okay. Uh, this is called Meet Me at Midnight. And this one uses our DK weight. Mm -hmm. uh, this is all three different colors of our monochrome DK. And the colors we use are 6,053, 6,065, and 6,060. Beautiful, beautiful. So the funny thing is, uh, you know, it's every time we uh, we make a design and uh, I mean, not make a design, we, we prepare a kit and the color that we use in the original one. Um, I have to remember to like stuck it much higher than others because as soon as, you know, <laughs> uh, we use this color and, uh, you know, just send the email blast to our customers right that color is just gone like um one of the colors was not our best seller by far and uh as soon as we put this in and i think it just it looks amazing gone, together yeah. and it's just like it was gone um i love this design like yeah. uh, and we have um we were able to put together a lot of uh, different combinations of it and mm -hmm. they look spectacular they do I, they I just really like do. we have uh, like i think 10 different combinations that just they look amazing. So mm -hmm. uh, your customers will be able to see what the uh, end product will look like in yeah. the color combinations that we're offering. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And mosaic, that was, thank you. Uh, Mary Thomas said mosaic. Uh, that was the word that I was looking for for, for, the, um, for those yeah. patterns. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't uh, able to help with the pattern. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's okay. I was struggling. You know, when you have that word that's right on the tip of your tongue, it's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> hang it here. And, uh, oh, yeah, I'll show another one that, you know, is because it's here. Yeah. This, this is, is our uh, Divan Yolu. This is uh, from our Turkish design house uh, in our office. This uses Harvest Fingering. I'm gonna put the camera a little. Yeah, because it's long. Farther away. Yeah, it's a pretty big piece here. Look at three how skeins long of, is. yeah, three skeins of harvest fingering, three different colors. Uh -huh. This is fig. This is indigo, uh -huh. and this is. This part is cosmic purple carrot. It's a three skin project and uh, you know, looks, yeah. looks pretty cool. Like. Awesome. Yeah. So. Very, very nice. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shauna and I'm gonna jump in right here and have Emery hold that up for a minute. And I want to share with you that when you look at the pattern on this, you're going to see an 11 size needle. And you say, oh my, I've never done 11. If you're a knitter that knits pretty loose, you want to go down to a 10.5, but this is a linen stitch. I'm going to have Emery hold it a little bit tighter. This is an incredible pattern. And it's going to be really good if you have arthritis and you want to go to a bigger needle. But I really just want to share that when you see the pattern, you're going to think that possibly the needle size is wrong. Okay, thanks for letting me jump in. Thank, Thank you. you. And uh, the name of the design is Divanyolu, D-I-V-A-N-Y-O-L-U. 
and I just posted the link there for anybody who's interested in that one. It goes straight to Dibanyolu. Yeah, this this one uh, we had introduced for the uh, local yarn shop day. Um, I think it was in September. So I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't remember last week right now. <laughs> You're right. I know, right? It's, it's been kind of crazy to try and remember. But um, it was for the LYSA. Um, it is uh, still available on uh, Yarn Geek Boutique's website. I posted the link there uh, if you're interested in that. And so um, I'm going to leave the chat open to see if anybody has any questions for me or for, um, for Emery. Uh, and then I am going to, while we do that, I am going to do a quick um drawing there was a drawing for two skeins of um the harvest yarn and did you i don't remember did you show a pattern uh, or a piece with the harvest yarn uh yeah this last one was the the was, with harvest, okay. and uh, that's with the fingering and this is with the worst and that's with the worst so the harvest uh again is the um the plant-based that is the yarn that is dyed with the um the leaves and berries and plants so really really nice so i have two skeins of that and i had a note here for who my winner was here and i gotta remember where it went because my winner And she is here. <laughs> there it is. Drum roll, please. Mary Thomas, you are the winner. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. So, um, Mary, what you're going to do is um, you're going to go to the Yarn Geek Boutique web store and website and just pick your two yarns. And then I will send them. Just pick the two colors that you want because I have the colors here. You can just tell me which ones you want. And then uh, Mary had a question. Do you have the kits for the cotton yarn? So um, there are kits for cotton yarns. Yes. Uh, let me see on my website. I can show, off, uh, show some of them too in person. Sure. If you like. Go ahead. Why don't you show them and I'll look on my site here. Also, I love what Holly has done on her website. As Emery shows something, Holly's got the, has the yarns up and you can send her an email or order any combination of the yarn you want to make your own kit. And Absolutely. That, thanks for doing such a great job on your website. It's beautiful. Oh, you're welcome. You know, thank you for um, mentioning that because I do just today, ta-da, I um, created a customized membership box that you can do once a month or you can do bi-monthly. And um, by the end of this evening, I'm gonna post the link and you're gonna be able to go, it's $40 and you can go in there, you can put whatever yarns you want in there for $40 you can um, customize it, and then you can say if you want it to ship weekly or, I mean, monthly or bi-monthly um, and choose your colors, okay? And you're also gonna get a coupon at the end of this event that is for the uh, Earth uh, um, Black Friday, and uh, which is uh, actually started at the beginning of November, and that's the Earth, uh, BOGO Earth, B-O-G-O -O Earth, and that is going to give you buy one, get one 50% off, okay? So we got a lot of stuff going on for you right now to, to encourage you or get you excited to get you some Earth stuff, some Earth yarn, so whatever well, let me you show, uh, 
This is uh, Shauna. I don't remember the name of this pattern. If you could. Uh, uh, I not not to uh, put you on the spot, but <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. The name is Summer Shell, and I'll put the link. This is from the Unique Cotton. This is one of the designs, uh, and then we have another one. Unfortunately, we we sent so many garment sounds for uh, other trunk shows. I I'm only left with you here yeah that's okay because i know i know where they're at they're just up the road from me so i'm going to go and take pictures of those and um everybody will be able to get to see those very very soon yeah this is uh from the color number 1074 it's pretty nice design this is called uh galata That's the galetta. That is so pretty. And that pattern again is? Uh, the, the name of the pattern is galata, G-A-L-A-T-A. -A -A, and it uses unique cotton and DK weight. Ah, okay. So you can use uh, monochrome cotton as well because they're the same gauge. You know, if you want more colorful, you use unique. If you want conservative, you can do monochrome cotton. And uh, just to remind you, this is what they look like. This is unique cotton. This is the monochrome cut. Okay. And now I'll put the link in for you for the Galatea tank top. Okay, thank you. And the unique cotton, my bad, you guys. I just realized I don't have it um, up in the shop, but I will fix that this evening for anybody who's interested in, in the unique cotton. Yeah, and uh, we have all the colors in stock. Uh, both mm -hmm. in uh, monochrome and unique. So okay. any orders placed, they'll go out right away. But you know what? I want to thank you guys um, for how quick you guys um, ship. When I place our orders, um, for my customers who don't know, um, Earth has been so wonderful. Emery and Shauna have been so wonderful in helping us yarn shop. Um, really deal with COVID and um, through COVID, what they've been able to do for us is drop ship. So when you order from me, if I don't have it right here in my home office, um, Shauna is going to make sure and Emery is going to make sure that they drop it, drop ship it straight to you. And I place the order and I swear it's pretty much that afternoon. It's going out the door <laughs> or at least in the, the next morning. It's yeah. going out the door. So we're very, very grateful, very, very thankful for you oh, guys for supporting us through this crazy, insane time. Well, we are very happy to do that because, uh, you know, we need each other these times. You know, I mean, always. But, you know, just now it's time to show our uh, support for each other. You guys use our yarns and uh, we support you with uh, the best we can. And uh, another thing I wanted to... Uh, mentioned to your customers that are not uh, familiar with our line is, uh, you know, we, we also plant a tree in Africa for every skein we sell. And uh, I'm proud to say we have uh, planted close to 250,000 trees. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, we're very proud and it's all because of our customers, yeah. Uh, you know, it's right. just, like, this is for our customers, yeah. <laughs> It's you guys. If you, you guys, guys don't buy, we can't plant more. So uh, <laughs> when you buy more, we plant more trees. And uh, it's uh, we we have partnered with um, uh, they're called Trees for trees. the Future. Yeah, yeah trees.org. And we wanted to make sure that when we donate, uh, it's not just going to someone's pocket. So <laughs> there's yeah. a very fine line there. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, we had to make sure they're uh, legitimate. And um, yeah, since we've been doing this since we started and, um, you know, every quarter we look at how many skins we sold and um, we, uh, we, we make a donation and they plant trees for us. And I don't know, uh, in a few years, maybe we'll see... Uh, some of them just like grow a little bigger and uh, That's <laughs> start, awesome. a, you're, start so an you're earth force. You're terraforming the earth for us. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you also on your website, um, on your story, you mentioned woman power. 
And we'd like to know a little bit more about the women in Turkey that knit the samples and help with the process. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, Turkey is um, like, it's, it's a very modern culture and country, but you know, like in every country you have uh, some pockets of uh, areas that, um, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's not, it's not uh, modern and uh, like in those pockets, uh, you know, women are, you know, just unfortunately, they're, they're left out. You know, it's just like very macho culture. And, you know, husband says this, husband says that. And, you know, you can't work outside home. You can't go outside this, that. Um, so it makes it very difficult for, you know, women to earn a living. And they become more dependent on their husband. And it's just like so sad that, you know, even even when the husband is unemployed or he can't make enough money, he would rather uh, he just, you know, not have enough to eat at home than have his wife, you know, work in an office. Like, mm -hmm. just know my wife cannot go outside to work. So these women, they, they can't earn a living unless they can do something home. So we are, you know, very fortunate that we figured out a way that we can, you know, um, employ these ladies, uh, especially like the ones that are, you know, uh, some of them, they come work in our office, warehouse, they put labels, um, you know, they just help with dyeing and uh, packaging, all that uh, parts. But some of them, they have to work from home. So what we do is like we make them, uh, you know, they make color cards for us. And our color cards, uh, they're very like, our color cards are not photographs. Mm -hmm. They're actual, you know, uh, what we do is we knit a shawl, a scarf from one of the colors and then they have to like cut them and sew them and make these swatches that looks, you know, it's all like really, uh, it's very crafty. It's just like mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of labor goes to it. So um, these ladies that, you know, they need work and they have to work from home, they knit samples for us. Like, um, we provide anything that I show here, these garments, they're knit by those ladies. Yeah. Um, so we, we provide a lot of garments to stores uh, to, you know, showcase our yarns. And all of them, they, you know, come from these uh, ladies in uh, Istanbul. And we also have, uh, you know, some areas in the south of Turkey that, you know, we have organizations and, uh, you know, they knit together. They, uh, you know, help us provides the yarns and the garments to our customers. And, you That's know, we're amazing. very happy to give back. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much, well, Emery, for you. joining My us pleasure. and showing us all of your beautiful yarn. Thank you for planting a tree for us for every single <laughs> week. Bye. Well, and thank you for Women Power, because we, well, we really you. appreciate thank that. Thank you. Thank you for being a Donna, uh, great thank you customer. as well. And thank you to all of our guests and customers that joined. And thank don't you for forget, joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So have a good night. Have a good evening on the East Coast. Everybody right. have a great evening. Okay. Thank Bye. you, Holly. We love you. You're welcome. You. Bye. Bye.